ready? I'm ready. All right, introduce yourself for people who might not know who you are, sir. My name is James Klingman, C-L-I-N-G-M-A-N, the author and uh, adjunct professor and newspaper columnist. Okay. All right, so what, what do you think about the film Black Friday, and what do you think uh, is going to come out of it? The film is excellent. I'll use that word to describe it. Uh, and, and what I think will come out of it, if people really watch it uh, and, and study the principles that are discussed in that film, we will change collectively. Black people will change. But, you know, first we have to have the will to do that. And the first step of the game is to gain information and knowledge about where we want to go and where we need to go. So I am trusting in our people that we will take the messages from that film and do the kinds of things that are talked about in the film. It's not just enough to talk, it's not just enough to come and watch a film. We have to take it to the level of action, appropriate action, of course, when it comes to economic empowerment. Where, where do you think we went wrong as black people in, in history and society to where we are where we are now? Most recently, we went wrong in the late 50s and early 60s, when we got our so-called civil rights. We forgot about civil rights, and we walked away from our own businesses around the early 60s to mid 60s, because we then had the right to go and shop at someone else's store, do business with someone else. That was a right, but certainly it was not a privilege. But I believe that far too many of us believed that it was a privilege to do that. We owned our own businesses, our own economic enclaves around the country, and that should have been maintained as we won our rights to public accommodation. I always say just because you have the right to do something doesn't mean it's right to do it. We won that war, but we didn't have to go and take our money and give it away and abandon our own economic structure. How important do you think is voting, and not necessarily just voting for a presidency, but voting locally, you know, at your, at your state, it, it, how important is that? Tip O'Neill is famous for saying politics is local. First of all, we have to get involved in politics on a local level. Few things on a national level are as important in our lives as, as it pertains to politics. Uh, uh, than the local things that happen and impact us every single day. We march and we uh, 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 demonstrate for, the, the, for voting power, but we settle simply for the power to vote, to go and cast a vote. And we think, many of us, that once we do that, our job is done. Our job just starts when we cast a vote. There's a lot of work to be done after that. Thus, because we haven't done that work, we find ourselves, even even in spite of the fact that we, that we have had a black president, we still find ourselves at the bottom of every good category and at the top of every bad one. That's on us. We have not played politics to win. We've only played it to play. And we need to change that whole paradigm around and get some quote for our quid. We hear quid pro quo all the time. But we give all of our quid and get no quo. We give the most and get the le and get the least. We need to change that. Okay. I know you wrote a book about you know the black dollar matters. Uh, and just a quick you know answer. Where what do we need to do? Like it doesn't matter, and what do we do with that? You know what I'm saying? Now that we know that the black dollar matters, we should have been known. But like, yes. you know, just a nutshell. Tell us about what you're gonna get when you when you read the book, and you know what we need to do. Well, the book again. The title is Black Dollars Matter. Teach your dollars how to make more sense. I'm advocating, as I have for decades, that black people need to to change the way we view our dollars and change the way we use our dollars. So in the book, it, it talks about not just what the problems are. We all know what the problems are. It, it, the book has solutions. It has things we can do now, appropriate action that we can take in order to build our economic foundation. 
that's what the book is all about. And the other four that I've written as well. How much? How, how important do you think it is, is investing in gold? I think it's important to have something that uh, uh, means something when it comes to to uh, money, quote unquote. And gold certainly is the standard. Many people can't afford it. Silver is a good a good alternative to that, and much cheaper. It would take a long time to talk about the fiat money and how it got started, what it's worth, what it's not worth. But I think that some, you know, if we could afford it, gold is really important to have uh, in our portfolios if we are fortunate enough to have those, or silver, or some kind of commodity like that, that will maintain its value. Thank you. All right, bro.